going on guys? So today I'm going to go through and put on my chin mount for the uh, vlog mount that I have for the new helmet. Uh, I finally got some parts coming in so I'll cover those and what they look like and we'll try to get this thing rigged up to see how it works with the Scorpion and then we'll go out and do a road test on it and check it out and see if it's um, up to par. All right, so give me a few minutes and I'll switch this around over the top view and we'll get started. See you in a minute. All right, so I got everything rotated around, laid out on the table here. Of course, we have uh, the Scorpion uh, 18950 that uh, you know I put my new uh, Senna on with the Harley Davidson 50C, and then I've got a pack of various adapters depending on what we'll need. Also, I purchased the Action Pack from chin mounts, some extra little locks that go in there, and the chin mount chin strap or chin mount that's supposed to be here to mount that guy on. And then this is my GoPro 8 black with mic that I've got attached to it that'll go inside. Some blue tape for me to strap my straps back on there so they get out of my way. And then I have some 3M tape that I'm gonna use to try to tie down the wires because it's a modular helmet and see how that goes. So I'll get everything opened up and uh, we'll see how this thing's gonna shake out. All right, back in a minute. Okay, so I got everything all opened up. As you can see, all the different various parts. This comes with an attachable lanyard uh, in case you wanna stick it to any part of the GoPro. So if it, the, the mount falls off, that it swings down there and beats the crap out of you when you're riding down the road. Cool little lock piece that I'm assuming goes in the same function like this one does here in this GoPro mount. Now one thing I did notice around this is with the chin mounts uh, mount that comes with it, right? So take this guy, snap it in there. The thing I noticed is the flexibility for this forward is great, but it hits a stop right here in the back. So I'll have to see if that's tilted back far enough uh, to get a good view once it's on my helmet. I know that sometimes people have them back a little further just so you're not just staring only at the handlebars and the dash and so that you can see more of the road in front of you but we'll see how that goes once I get it in there. But for now we'll start with that. If it doesn't work I have the GoPro mount that I have that has this little angle on it that allows me to flex it back all the way back here which will pitch me way further so only about maybe a quarter inch half an inch higher in visibility i'll have to see how it lines up once i get it in so all right <clears throat> first things first is we need to prep the area where this is going to mount so chin mount right it's got a little spot right here there's a little bit of a bend or a groove because these are designed for each helmet and that's going to sit right in the center here and get this a little closer yeah it's going to sit right in the center here and then right over that that um, vent and you can still operate the vent here which is cool so what they recommend you do is clean it all off with this alcoholic wipe that they got there and then take your heating gun and heat up the spot where you're going to stick it and the back of the 3M tape for there. So let's do that. Take our handy dandy little alcohol wipe. And like I said, it goes right there in that area. So contact points are all right here. So we're just gonna clean this all up around it. Never hurts. Okay, so that's that. Let that dry for a second. Meanwhile, I'm gonna scratch up my 3M tape on this guy. Get it ready to go. 
I'm waiting for that alcohol to dry or evaporate really. Okay, so that's good to go. Okay. So no smudges or anything on there. Try to turn this a little bit around. So now I'm gonna take my heating gun and heat this area up. And then real quick, I'm gonna pull the tape off and then kind of put them close together and reheat them again. Obviously not too hot. Okay, so I got that kind of started. Yes, it's gonna cool down, but I wanna let it know that something's coming. All right, so now we'll peel this off. Okay, so this is gonna be a one-shot deal. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna try to get these both at the same time. Good little heat gun boy, let me tell you. Okay, so before it gets too cool, Take it and line it up right where she's supposed to go, hopefully. Out there and put some pressure on it. Looks like it's pretty good. So their recommendation is to let this cure for a while. So I'm gonna do that just cause I don't wanna have this thing fly off. Cause I was in too big a rush and didn't let it cure. So we will let this cure for a little while and then I'll come back after a while and we'll mount up the um, GoPro so that we can start seeing where our wiring and everything's gonna go inside the helmet because as you can see we already have the center here so it's gonna come in this side I'm probably gonna run up in here and run along the edge of this to come in and peep in here so that wire and then tape it so nothing gets kinked up but we'll see how that all goes once I'm happy that this thing is cured good enough so all right, so we'll let this sit for a while and then I'll come back and we'll continue on. All right, see you after a while. Okay, so I think we let this sit long enough, or at least as long as I'm gonna anyway. So while I was letting it dry and bind, I guess is the proper term, I went ahead and played a little bit with different mounts to see which one I would like. Now with the, um, chin mount one, like I said, it, you don't drop it. It's got that block back on there, but with the GoPro mount, uh, it's got freedom to go back and do the tilt. So as you can see with this one on there, I can tip it back clear this far or down more. It gives me a little more flexibility. And also it clears, it allows me to clear my uh, face shield coming up and down. So. I opted to go with that one. I set it pitched a little bit forward 
and then now I'm only controlling it by the pitch at the second connection right there, so that helps out a lot. But so just wanted to share that one. And then as you can see, this snaps in here like this. This is on there nice and good. Don't see any flex or anything there so far. So for the next part, I kind of dorked around to see um, how everything was going to go. And it's always good to have a windscreen down here in the bottom. So because Scorpion does have that, I took advantage of that. I don't like it personally for my beard because it crunches me all up and makes it look all kinky. But I guess for good video, we'll do a sacrifice. But what I did <clears throat> was I got the wire coming off of the mic adapter, comes over in here. I tie wrapped it loosely this just to see how it would go. And I just used some blue tape to mark some spots where I think I'll use the uh, actual 3M tape on the finished product, right? So I stuck a piece there. I looped it down in behind the chin strap, the uh, windscreen right there for the chin. And then hopefully you can see it. I did a piece of tape right there and a piece of tape right there. And then I left this much slack right here. And I had this tucked in here. So that tucks inside that little part of the helmet right there. So that stays kind of loose. And then I coiled it all up back up underneath here and bound it with the chin strap and everything else so it ties in. So you can see I've got it all tied up in here where that all goes, right? So this pin push back in. All right, so once it's all tied up in there, then you can kind of play with where you want your mic position. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it right up here and just leave it kind of buried right in that side right there. So this has got a little cover on it. I'm gonna try to get this guy back on it. It'll probably come off a lot more than likely, but we can use it to keep the wind noise down. That'd be good. So we'll push that on and then I'm gonna stick it right here and kind of sandwich it right in there like that. So that'll hold that cover on there and keep that out of the way. I think that with my voice projecting forward anyway, I think it, it'll catch a lot of that. And, you know, we'll just play with it and see, see how it goes. Um, if I have to, I can strap it in. But that's pretty much the run and then because it's a modular, like I said, it's a little different, but where I have the wires, it just sits right in this cavity, allows me to latch, doesn't interfere. You can see it hiding up here, right? So I'll probably secure that down a little bit more for that cheek pad right there, but it lets it open up and close. Pull this back so there's full latch, it's not pinching the wire or anything, and it comes up there. So I think that's gonna be our run. And it just leaves this part loose to flip around, and the only thing it's running into is a little bit of a rubber piece of um, frame right there, so it's not cutting the wire, if you will, and all that. So I think I'll just put 3M tape where those are, and then Get this tied in a little bit better on the inside here for the pad and leave that squished right where it sits, nice and secure. So, and then we'll take it out and do a, a test run and see how it sounds and then we'll adjust accordingly. So, that's about it for this part. So let me uh, clean it up and get the 3M tape all stuck on there. There's no sense in you guys watching me do that because that's exciting and uh, for sake of better video quality and interest. I don't want to bore you to death. But that's the, the run that I did. And uh, I'll cinch this up so if I have to take this off, I just unconnect that and the cable will stay on the front of the mount. And then um, 
yeah, I think we'll be good. So we'll test it out and see how it goes. And then uh, I'll add that video onto the back side of this part and we can see what we think. All right, cool. Let me uh, get this all buttoned up and then I'll go out and jump on the ST and darn it, have to take it for a ride. So we'll get at it. All right, see you in a little bit. Thanks. So now we're on the road glide. Kind of get a feel for how this mic sounds. So you can see it's a different level height, different view. Feel different gauges and stuff a little bit different. These are wider bars, so it's a little bit broader. Now we're gonna take it up, get on the freeway and do the normal route just to kind of Compare the same measurements on how it performs. Beautiful day. Not too hot yet, but it's going to get up at about 105. One more hurrah this week of hot weather before it starts dropping back down into the mid 80s. At least that's what the weather people say. All right, you ready to jump on the freeway? Keep the face shield cracked until I get up to freeway speeds and then do a sample of what it sounds like and then we'll uh, shut it and see how that sounds shield closed. See what kind of wind feedback we get with the road glide shield. Alright, cruising around 95 now. Okay, so I just came back from a couple different test rides and um, here's the finished product. So he ended up using the chin mount with the GoPro clamp because it has this little extended piece right here that lets me pitch the uh, camera back a little more if I need to, where the other one was sticking because I want to be able to pitch it back to get a better angle plus be able to clear my uh, face shield and then I had it originally going back around this side and came up through and, and wired in but after my first test ride I realized that there was just a lot of wind noise with it in the cheek pad so what I ended up doing is going the same path here taping it with some 3M tape here and here coming off the mic going in through my uh, release button right there where this chin screen goes in and then I don't know if you can see it but let's try this basically bundled up all the extra cord from the speak from the microphone wire put it right there and then taped it, uh, electrical tape around it and then put some 3m tape over it to hold it in place and then I put a dead cat on top of the microphone and stuck that with 3M tape right there with the mouthpiece aiming right to the front. And the results 
were a lot better. Um, plus it's all here. I don't have to worry about anything getting caught in anywhere, the linkages and stuff like that. And it frees up and doesn't interfere with this even though it was on this side. So for now, I think that's what I'm gonna run. I'll probably still do some testing and some additional changes. I'll probably uh, end up putting a little more tape around this dead cat, I think, um, to see if I can minimize some of the, the wind noise that I'm hearing. It's like a fluttering noise, which you guys will probably hear in the video a little bit when you get up to higher speeds. But overall, it's the most consistent with this configuration. So as long as I have this helmet, uh, that's what it'll run. And I think I got the height just about right and seem to be pretty happy with it. So that's it. That is my install of my GoPro using the chin mount attachment and various parts on the front. And uh, pretty happy with it. Um, you saw the videos of the tests that I did. So works pretty good. So we'll be using this when we go out and do some stuff and, and uh, hopefully it'll come across right and uh, I'll just keep tweaking it as I go along. So, all right, thanks so much. Like, subscribe, put any comments in there. Love to hear them, love to hear your feedback. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.